Vlogtober, day 15, let's get to work. nice day out. Thought I would just uh, have my lunch and have a little chit chat with you guys while I do it. I'm having one of my hundreds of Progresso soups that I have at home. I probably only have like 10, but it's lentil soup. Very hearty. The Greyhound bus station is right behind me, so that makes a lot of noise. That's still really hot. I want to have my chips, but I'm gonna save that for dinner for my tomato soup. That bus is really annoying. I hope it leaves soon. The thing is, I had a panic attack yesterday, and it feels weird to talk about. Like I said, though, I want to be kind of real with you guys. I just, I didn't really notice until the evening that that was what had happened. Once I was kind of thinking about things, I realized that that's, that I had a panic attack. I guess I kind of realized in the moment, maybe, but it was a slowly progressing one. It wasn't just an immediate panic attack. It was a little harder to catch because of that. I mean. Obviously, I'm okay. I think I've just been super stressed. I had to go somewhere else, which was unexpected and not what was planned for the weekend. And then with the whole new signing of the lease that came up, and of course, Vlogtober, I've been doing that. So that's on my plate too. Not that you guys stress me out. It's just, that's on my plate as well. This lentil soup is actually pretty good. Side note, just in general, you know, I'm kind of alluded to the mental illness, mental health sort of things. And I have depression, but I also have anxiety. So that definitely plays a role in the panic attacks that I get. I mean, everybody feels stress. They know what stress is like, but when, when there's a panic attack, other things can happen. It's I'm not discounting people that have stress in their lives. It's just with anxiety, it's definitely heightened. And I think when it happened, I was really anxious about signing the new lease. Before everything had happened recently with my living situation, the lease had been up for about two years. We were on month to month. So I can understand where the landlords were coming from and that they wanted to kind of lock it in. They said it was an, on advice from their accountant. They said at least, you know, a six month lease, if anything. It's been a while, but I was working on trying to figure out how to tell them that it was just me in the house and so this kind of gave me the opportunity I kind of had to step up and that really that really I guess freaked me out a little bit so I told them I would go ahead and sign a six month lease if it could just be me on the lease just by myself I did want to assure them I said I could take care of the bills by myself which is true I can I know I should get a cheaper place, especially with the program that I'm following, you know, the Dave Ramsey program should only be 25% of your take home income and it's not, it's more. I've always had somebody living with me, roommate, whatever, and I'm not ready to try to find a different place because it's not just trying to find a place on my own, you know, trying to figure out what place would work for me by myself. And I really do like this place. I, I do like the location. I like, but it's just a little bit too expensive, really. Like I can afford it, obviously. And if I hadn't been on this program where I learned how to budget and I learned how to take care of my money and I purposely put my money towards things, I wouldn't be able to afford it by myself because my money was just getting wasted and thrown out the window all the time. I would have been in a really bad position. At least I can recognize that I'm in a better place now. If you've just come along for the vlogs and you don't know about the Dave Ramsey program, it's what I'm following to get out of debt. It has seriously changed my life. I really would be so much more stressed out about how I was gonna pay rent if I didn't have my budget in control. I'm incredibly thankful for that fact. It's just like with work and everything, the fact that I work 45 minutes away and the fact that I and becoming more involved at the office shop and that's that's about 40 minutes away from my house because it's on it's on the side closer to the city that I live in which is better there's been a lot of pressure to move here while I can understand the good reasonings behind it because it would be a lot closer I wouldn't have to commute I would spend less on gas the rent is about the same more or less there's definitely an advantage to not having to commute anymore 
and to be closer to the shop and to be more readily available for that. I kind of am leaning more towards getting another place inside of the city that I already live in. I've lived there for 20 years. I've lived there for 25 years, actually. I've lived there for 25 years. My family is there, my immediate family, my sisters, my mom, my grandparents, my friends are there. The few really close friends I have are there. There's like one or two close friends out here, but a majority, there's also, I guess I don't have super a lot of close friends. Let's, let's face it. Yeah, I have some good friends out there and I have a doctor I finally like, I have a dentist I finally love, because that was a hard struggle. I have a mechanic I love out there and I could commute back for those things as well, I suppose, instead, but if I just live here, commute back to see those people, to use those services. It's a much slower pace. On my days off, I don't know if I would want to be in this city. Driving around, on the highway here already freaks me out whenever it's super busy. I just feel like there's a lot, there's a lot of people here and it's spread out. So it's not like, I don't know, in some bigger cities, it seems a little bit more feasible to live in. Like if you can commute by bike or walking because everything is smushed in together and there might be a lot of people, sure, but it's all kind of close together and it's a little bit easier. I guess there's, traffic in those kind of places too but I don't know how exactly to explain it. I feel like here is a lot more spread out than some of the other bigger cities and this isn't a huge city but it's bigger than the city I live in so I suppose all that contributed to the stress that I've been feeling about moving and when it came up that they wanted the lease signed I just agreed to do six months because it seemed a lot easier than having to find a place in the next month because if I didn't sign a lease, I wasn't sure I would have to tell them I would have to find a place and I don't think I was ready, I'm not ready to move out by the end of November. And I guess maybe I could have asked for like January or something, but I just don't know if I could by the end of the year work on finding another place place right now. I just don't feel like I'm in that spot to do so. There's been a lot going on with work and it's going to slow down I'm pretty sure in December. It, I just feel like I can't put that on my plate right now to find the right place because I'm not even sure what I want or where I want to be. I think that was probably what was going through my mind is all of that and that's kind of what helped push along my panic attack because I just was so unsure and I was gonna meet up with them to sign the lease. So I signed the lease with them last night and I'm feeling better, I am. I mean, obviously I'm still stressed out about these different things, but I did it and it might cost me a bit more money, but it buys me some time. And then I will go back to month to month after that, which they said is fine. And they also said it's fine if I decide to get a roommate down the line, which I don't think I will. I just, I can't do it. I can't do roommates anymore. It's not going to happen. So it's, it's just me and we'll see where, where it goes from there. I'm almost done with my soup already because this took me forever to get through. I got to get back inside in like 10 minutes, but I hope you don't mind this talk. I mean, I'm working all day, so I don't know what kind of other stuff I could do for you. So I thought a little sit down talk vlog would be you know a good way to just connect with you guys for today let me know if there's like any topics that you guys want to talk about down in the comments maybe I can talk about it on days that I work like this where there's not much going on and all I can really do is just sit down and chat for a while thanks for listening more soup so pizza. thanks for hanging out with me at lunch today I was just about to go to bed when I remembered that this package, it's from a place called Love by Luna. This package came in and I'm so super excited. It's for next Monday and it's Tuesday today. It's gonna be my next nail design for Halloween, Vlogtober, all that stuff. Cause I have some plans for next week. Get my nails redone and change it from the first one that you saw with Nova. I'm gonna go back to Nova again, but I wish I could show you guys this, but I want it to be a surprise. I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna open this up, look at it, and then go to bed. Mm -hmm.